First. Now, a few days from now, the federal government will open the Nigerian airspace for domestic airline operators to resume services. This government uh, says will be done under strict guide guidelines and supervision. Passengers have been advised to arrive at airports at least three hours before their flights to provide enough time for them to go through various screening processes and medical checks before boarding. There are concerns that some airline operators may not be able to resume operations as many have gone bankrupt and are in dire need of bailouts from government. Joining me now from Port Harcourt is TVC News River State correspondent Uche Okoro. Uche, good morning. It's good to have you join me right now. I can see you are at the uh, premises of the airport, uh, Port yeah, Harcourt Airport. Talk to us, basically, are there some new looks the, the airport is wearing? What are the preparations towards uh, the opening of the airspace uh, from where you are? Absolutely, the Port Harcourt International Airport, specifically the domestic wing where I am right now, is certainly wearing a new look. Ahead of me, in front of me, are a number of billboards that have been set up to, you know, to display certain information that um, airport authorities would want the public to know as regards what is going on. Also behind me, if you look at the um, far end at the, the, the entrance into the airport, the departure wing there, you can see some form of um, a tent being set up a um, few meters away from the entrance. Now, airport authorities are saying that um, that construction is, is as a result of their compliance to directives to ensure that um, all passengers converge at that point. All intending passengers who intend to fly um, through the domestic wing would, um, you know, converge at that tent which is being um, constructed right there at the entrance of the domestic wing. Security checks will be carried out before they are allowed to enter the airport um, um, check-in lounge, before, uh, uh, when they can uh, begin to check in their luggages. So yes, um, the airport from where I stand is certainly wearing a new look from the outside. But when you go inside, as at the last time I was at the airport and right now, airport authorities have also taken steps to ensure social distancing. There are floor markings on the, at the Port Harcourt Airport right now inside the premises at all points where queues are made. Uh, there, are, uh, if there are floor markings to ensure distance between each passengers as they stand in queue. Also at the waiting lounges before, at, at the point of um, boarding, there, there are also um, social distancing measures that have been put in place to ensure sitting spacing between passengers. So yeah, um, there is certainly a um, new look of the airport, both outside and inside the Port Harcourt Airport, the domestic wing. All right, Uche, uh, from the reports we're getting, it, it seems most likely that some airlines may not be uh, commencing flights immediately because uh, they don't have what it takes uh, due to the impact of COVID-19. Talk to us about uh, issues like that. As at the last time I was at the airport, when I spoke to the airport manager, the regional manager here at the airport, he had said that the regulators are not just regulating they themselves as airport authorities, the airlines themselves also are being regulated. In the build-up to the resumption of the of flights here at the airport, the fan is expecting to work with a new and updated standard operating procedure for the airport authorities. Now, for the airlines as well, it is also expected that they would also have an updated um, um, uh, standard operating procedure for their activities. So, according to what, uh, going by what I've been told, only airlines who would comply with these latest directives from the regulators will be allowed to fly. Also, there is the other angle of the preparedness of the the, the airworthiness of the airlines, of the aircraft rather themselves. So even while the, uh, the uh, airlines have been, uh, will be instructed to comply with new directives to ensure social distancing and to enforce safety um, guidelines, there would also be, emphasis would also be laid on the airworthiness of this aircraft, many of whom have not been on, have not been um, serviceable for the last few months. So it is not, um, it is not um, surprising to hear that many of the airlines will not commence operations. 
even if all of them would, certainly not all would commence operations as at the same time. Not all airlines would be able to resume operations as at June the 21st, even if maybe later, eventually, um, that might happen. Talking about the airlines, uh, I wonder, apart from the airports where people, the protocols of, you know, uh, going into and, and all the checkpoints and all the counters and sitting in position, how about the airlines themselves? What arrangement is being made uh, for sitting arrangement and how to, how to board? Well, we do not know for um, sure what the specifics of that would be. Because get those details in the coming days. And certainly we'll get those details in the coming week. I've been promised that um, we would get a comprehensive detail of, of how the airport would operate in the coming days. That as at now, a lot of work is still ongoing. As at uh, 9 um, 30 p.m. last night when I had my last conversation with um, officials here, they were still at the airport walking around the clock to ensure that they are prepared. So as to the specifics of the answer to what you have just asked, I've been promised that we would get those details in a very few days. But what we know is that certainly the airlines would take into consideration social distancing. That is for sure. What we don't know is um, how that would be implemented. Because if at the point of entrance there are checks, at the point of checking in and all queues that will be formed in the airport, there are checks and um, efforts to ensure social distancing. At the waiting lounge, there are efforts to ensure social distancing. I do not believe that in the aircraft itself, caution will be thrown to the wind. So I believe that as... Um, indicated by airport authorities that certainly the airlines are also being strictly regulated this period. I strongly believe that issues of social distancing will be taken very seriously by the airlines. But as to the specifics of how that will be done on board the aircraft, uh, we will be promised that we'll get those details in a very few days, certainly before the resumption um, date, which is June 21st. Okay. Uh, the, talk to us about the efforts, because we heard from, from the reports we got is that some of the airlines or many of the airlines are not buoyant enough and they will need bailouts. Is the government planning any bailout for some of the airlines so they can, you know, break even from uh, the reports you have gotten? Oh, well, I, I also don't have that. I, I can't answer that question for sure because uh, I've not encountered any of the airlines who have put that complaint across to me. But what I can also say by way of answering your question is the fact that these airlines, there are concerns that these airlines... The, air, the aircraft that these airlines would be working with or intend to work with, many of them may not be airworthy as a result of the fact that many of them have been packed for a long time throughout the period of this lockdown. And of course, you know the economic situation of the country right now. It is not surprising to hear that um, the resources may not have been there to service aircraft that are, that are not in use for business. So, yes, it, is, it wouldn't be, it's not coming as a surprise if these airlines say that they would require financial bailouts from the government because you know that the airline, the, air, the aviation industry, as much as it's a very uh, um, highly regulated industry, it's also very capital intensive. So if these aircraft have not been in use for business, generating income for these airlines, it therefore follows that they've been unable to service these aircraft during the period of the lockdown, which also in turn does not come as a surprise, like I said earlier, we, if they would say that they need funds to do the needful. Uh, well, we expect that. Um, I think um, a, lot of all, a, lot of, a lot of the answers to these questions will be clearer in, the, in a, just a few days' time. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Uchokuro, for your time on the program.